Hi guys, you are on VRM24.com and today we will disassemble the tablet Samsung Galaxy Tab A7 Lite. At the very beginning we need to remove the card tray. For this we take a special tool, insert it into the hole and push out the combined card tray. Then we move on to detaching the back cover. We use a thin metal tool, insert it into the gap between the back cover and the display frame and detach a few clips. After that we can use a thicker plastic tool. We need to be careful on the corners because on the corners the cover is held specially tight and of course we always need to be careful around the side buttons because they are physically located in these places. If we missed any of the clips, we can repass in those places, but this cover is still held on the corners. And we open up the back cover. The antenna contact pads are located on the cover. Then we move on to unscrewing the screws. We use a 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver or hash the hole. We unscrew the screws, securing the loudspeaker and the connector bracket. It is better to place the screws on a special surface in an easy to remember order so as not to confuse anything when reassembling. We can also take a photo of the screw location. Then use a non-metal tool to hook the edge and detach the loudspeaker unit. And now there is nothing to prevent us from disconnecting the battery connector. We disconnect it also with a non-metal tool. And we move on to unscrewing the screws at the bottom. For this we also use a Phillips screwdriver 1.5 mm. The screws in the bottom part are not different from each other. We just need to not confuse them with the screws from the top part. And we need to detach the cover that hides the subboard. We find the right place where we can pry and leave the cover. And we remove the cover with the other speaker. Now we can disconnect the connectors on the subboard. We disconnect the coaxial cable connector and we disconnect the interboard cable connector. And we can try to detach the subboard. First, we peel off the special heat dissipating strip. Then we also find the right place where we can hook and remove the subboard. On the subboard, we have the charging port, microphone, headset jack port and other elements on the inside. So we move on to detaching the cameras on the motherboard. First we detach the main camera. It is better to hold the cameras by the body to prevent them from falling out. Then we detach the front camera. The camera is traditionally covered with a heat dissipating tape we need to peel it off. And we have to take out the camera, which is recessed into the display frame. Let's move on to disconnecting the display connector and the connector of the interboard cable. And we need to unscrew the screws that secure the motherboard. The screwdriver is the same, Phillips, and the screws are quite different from the previous ones. They are short 
silver ones with a big cap. After that, we need to disconnect the connector of the coaxial cable, which we missed. We bend the cable slightly. And also we find the right place where we can hook and leave the motherboard. We make sure that nothing is in the way and remove the motherboard. Finally, we move on to detaching the battery. We need to unwrap the two black tabs. These tabs are the ends of the adhesive tape that we need to pull to detach the battery. But as it usually happens, the tabs get torn off and we need to use a different approach to detach the battery. First, we use a thin plastic film. We run it under the battery and try to cut off the adhesive base. By the way, we won't use heat or isopropyl alcohol in this video, just in case. Then we can use a thin metal tool to leave the battery to make it easy to work the plastic film. The main thing for us is not to damage the battery shell. So we shouldn't act forcibly. And we continue to use the film and cut off the adhesive. At some point, we can run a plastic card under the battery. The card is much more convenient and much easier to work with. So we continue to cut off the adhesive and it is important, of course, not to run the card too deep under the battery. Otherwise, we can damage the cables located in the middle. And slowly but surely, we cut the glue off one side and we can leave the battery and see where the other adhesive layer is located and where the cables are located too. So, as it becomes clear to us, we need to go to the other side, where we continue to detach the battery and cut off the adhesive layer with a plastic card. Basically, we repeat everything we did on the other side. And of course, the plastic card is much easier and faster to work with, because the plastic film actually rolls up in these places. And we have just a little bit left to detach the battery. We see that there is nothing in the way and we are going to detach the battery. 
so we have carefully detached the battery. This is the end of our assembly. Thank you for watching and see you around or in the new videos. Okay guys, now we're done. Thank you for watching. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel or read our articles on our website. Take care of yourself and until next video.